Hi guys, it's Kara, and I have some goodies from the Goulet Pen Company that I thought I would share with you. Now, I went ahead and unwrapped everything um, so that you did not have to live through me struggling with their signature blue saran wrap that keeps everything together really well. Um, and I'm just going to get started and show you what I got. So first up are these adorable little notebooks. These are A7 size, which means they are about um, 4 inches in length and just under three inches in width. I actually have some micro size traveler notebooks coming my way and I thought that these would be great to use in them so I grabbed um, you know a good supply since I was ordering from them anyway. Then I wanted to show you what actually basically started me down the path of another order. I watch uh, Brian Goulet's videos pretty regularly um, and I think in one of the last ones I watched, he mentioned this particular ink. This is a Noodler's ink. It is Suffragette. It's a gorgeous pink color that I'm gonna show you here in a minute. And in the course of talking about this ink, he mentioned that it's kind of a limited supply thing. So of course I had to go look at the color and I really liked it, so I got it. So I am going to completely blame his videos for the purchases that I'm showing you now because I once I had bought this I thought well I might as well pick up a few other things right so this is the ink and I have kind of swatched it out that is the color it's a really pretty pink it's not like an in-your-face pink but it is really gorgeous I really like it I'm very pleased with it so I am glad I got it um, and then along with that I picked up a couple new pens the first one is a Noodler's pen. Now I've actually have to admit I've had this pen before. Not this particular color. This is um, I think it's Ahab's Pearl if I remember correctly. Let me see. Yeah it's an Ahab's Pearl. It's a flex pen from Noodler's. This is the smallest and um, least expensive one I think of his line that they have. This is the Creeper. It costs just slightly more than $16 and I will explain. I used to have one of these in a different color that I got really early on when I first started getting into fountain pens. And because these are a flex pen, um, they take a little getting used to and sometimes every once in a while you have a problem with that. And when I had the first one, I got really frustrated with it. And after trying to figure it out, you know, on and off for a couple weeks, I actually just tossed it, threw it away. One of the few pens I've ever done that with. I was really irritated, but I have to admit it was probably just more user than the pen itself um, because flex pens are just a little bit different. So when I got the ink, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this pen a little bit, uh, another try because I've had a little bit longer to use fountain pens and maybe I will be a little bit better at it once I practice some more. So picked up this little beauty along with the ink. And then the last thing I got was another fountain pen that, um, is new to them. They just started carrying these and I'm hoping I'm gonna say this right. This is the Nemesine Singularity. It's the pink one. You can see right off the bat since I'm a pink girl while why I had to get this one. Now I will say that I wanted to try it out because it's an inexpensive pen. It's um, at the Goulet Pen Company for $19.99. It comes with some uh, short cartridges, standard cartridges. It will take the shorter ones, so you can use it for cartridges, or with cartridges, I guess I should say. And it also has a converter as well, so you can use whatever ink you want. Um, and I thought that that was just kind of a really good deal for a starter pen. And I'm kind of thinking I may do a starter fountain pen video, and this would be a nice one to include in there along with a few others. So because of that, because it's pink, it's a decent price, I really wanted to try it out, I went ahead and got it. So those are the goodies that I picked up from the Ghoulie Pen Company. Um, if you have any questions about them, let me know. I'll let you know how I do with these fountain pens, you know, down the road after I've had time to use them. And I will put a link down below to the Goulet Pen Company so you can check them out if you haven't already. They have some awesome fountain pens and I cannot say enough about their customer service. Uh, they are a company that really values their relationship with their customers and they, I can just speak personally that they've been awesome to deal with. You know, I've had problems in the past with um, a payment going through and I was dealing with uh, Brian uh, directly via email. They're very involved 
with their customer service and I can't say enough about them. So if you are a fountain pen lover and you haven't checked them out or you want to try some fountain pens, I highly recommend the company and think you should go check them out. They're awesome. They have a lot of good videos out there, a lot of good features on their website, so don't hesitate to check them out. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.